Hello ladies and welcome to The Beauty Shaman. So today I'm doing a part two in my Valentine's Day sort of series of three um, for different looks that you can do on Valentine's Day. So last, my last posting was the um, very um, sort of pretty soft romantic look. So I hope you watched that and that you enjoyed that. So today I'm going to do a more classic glam look. So I've worn my black Vince turtleneck and um, some fake pearls because I don't own <laughs> real pearls, but these are knockoffs of a Tiffany um, strand. It's really long, actually. I often like wear it really long and it's cool. It makes me look like I spend money on jewelry and I don't. Anyway, because um, I thought I wanted to really show the, the, the classic glamorous red lipstick with lashes um, sort of a look. So um, this is if you're going out to a pretty nice restaurant or maybe a nice uh, uh, more of a fancy party. Okay. So, um, by the way, please visit my website at thebeautyshaman.com. Use the code SB10 for 10% off everything. Um, and then also be sure to subscribe down below on YouTube so that I can continue making content for all of you. Okay. Let's get started. Okay. So to start off with, we have to talk about tea because I'm a tea lover. So today's tea is um, PG Tips. So I used to live in England. I went to school in England. Um, I can do a perfect English accent, by the way. Um, anyway, I do love PG Tips. And so this is PG Tips. You can get it at kind of more of a specialized grocer if you're interested in black tea. Um, I don't drink a ton of black tea because um, caffeine really affects me. Um, but if I have it, this is about four o'clock in the afternoon. And so that's when I normally have my one cup of black tea. And so I've got that with a little bit of soy creamer because um, I can't have too much dairy creamer that messes with me. I'm a little high maintenance, but that's that's, that's a whole other story. So get your tea. <laughs> or maybe I'm a lot high maintenance. I don't know. I mean, are you high maintenance? <laughs> I, or maybe I could say I just really know what I like, you know? It's a good excuse. Okay, so to start off with, um, I'm going to do, I'm going to prep my skin. And I'm going to do my usual prep, which is the Truth Trifecta and starting with Truth um, Treatments C Serum. So this is just a phenomenal serum. All you need is two drops of this. Um, it's so concentrated, um, vitamin C, incredibly, incredibly nourishing for your skin. Two drops of hyaluronic mineral hydrator helps with um, dryness to maintain moisture into your skin. Two squirts of biomimetic mist for the efficacy of the product, really gets it beneath the dermis layer. Plumps up your skin. This is phenomenal to use before you put your makeup on because your skin just goes bloop, <laughs> just like that, bloop. <laughs> PG tips. Okay, so now I'm gonna move into some foundation. So I'm gonna use my Smooth Affair Primer by Jane Iredell. I'm gonna blend it with my foundation. You can do this, you can put it on before, um, you know, I'm going to blend it today. So I'm going to add one squirt of foundation to my primer. It's a little bit too much primer, to be honest. Um, it's okay. This makes it very sheer. If you mix it like this, you're going to get more of a sheer foundation um, look. But that's okay. I'm fine with that. The older you get, the more you want basically sheer to medium foundation coverage. You really don't want um, medium to heavy. So the lighter you can go with your coverage, the better. That means you have to take really good care of your skin. Skin becomes an incredibly important thing the older you get. Um, I really encourage you to watch some videos. I'll put some links down below that I made of um, with Ben Fuchs who is a phenomenal compounding pharmacist and talks openly and honestly about skincare and what works. He's a wealth of information. I recommend you get into him and his product. I carry his product, Truth Treatments, um, because I love it. I think it's some of the best on the market. So I definitely recommend you listen, tune into some of those. Okay, now so for concealer, we're gonna do some Juice Beauty. So I, I really like this concealer. Um, I think I've said before in other videos, it's very dry. So just be sure you really have the hydrated skin again, kind of more plugs for hydrated skin. Um, you can also get a lot of hydration in your skin through taking omega-3 and 6 oils. Um, I am at some point going to hold up the products that I use for that. I don't sell any of that. It would just be a recommendation. Um, I don't 
Um, I am not a nutritionist. I can't, um, I can't say what you need to take, but I can't say what I take. I take a ton of, um, oils in my diet, healthy, good oils, good fats. Um, and that makes an enormous difference to the health and the, um, plumpness and the vibrancy of my skin. Okay. Next I'm going to use some Yves Saint Laurent. Uh, this is called Touche Clat. It is a wonderful highlighter. I love this highlighter. I use this um, a lot in my professional work. I'm putting it on my hand because this is the one that's in my makeup kit. Um, so this is about $40, I believe, $35, $40 for one of these sticks. This is not Clean Beauty for those of you who are into Clean Beauty, but it is a fantastic highlighter. So I'm gonna use this just where I really want to highlight on my skin. I get a little dark right there. Excuse my dogs if you can hear them barking. I have two chihuahuas who like to bark when I get on film. <laughs> They're like, Mom, I want to be heard. Um, put it around just this whole area through here like a V. This is very sheer, which is one of the reasons I really like it. It doesn't add product to your, like heavy product. It basically just adds um, a reflector for the when the light hits it. It's wonderful. Okay, so I've done foundation, concealer, and highlighter. So I'm doing a little bit more um, than I would if this was just a basic daytime look because we are going out, we are with our significant other, um, we are blinking our eyes a lot, you know, whatever, flirting. So um, we are going to really make more of an effort, okay? All right, so I'm going to do my eyebrows. Um, I am going to do a whole video on eyebrows. I keep promising this. I am going to do this where I just talk about eyebrows. At this point, I'm just going to fill in a bit with a little bit of eyeshadow and a thin brush. Not a lot, because the thick kind of chiseled eyebrow look is exiting, thank God, because I think that only works if you're like 12. You know, I mean, I think if you're over the age of 50 or 40 for that matter, it's very hard to wear. Looks so crazy. I think we're going to look back at that style and go, oh my God, I looked like a lunatic. I'm not into looking like a lunatic. I want you to look beautiful. I want you to look very balanced and harmonious and in love with yourself. I do not want people to go, she's a little touched, you know, a little around the bend. Not good. Not good. All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of contour. Um, I didn't do contour in the first video uh, on the romantic look because I just wanted a really sheer look. Um, but on this one, I'm going to go a little bit. So this is my professional palette. That's why it's a bit loved <laughs> but i'm going to basically blend these two colors um i don't expect you to do that what i would say is go one to two shades darker than your normal skin with the same undertone so i have yellow undertone so i'm using a warm undertone a yellow undertone in my contour if you have rosy undertones please get a rosy undertone contour not everybody needs to wear the same color of contour hello this is should not be breaking news, but it is, right? So be mindful of your undertones. So it just frames the face a little bit, gives you a little bit more definition. Not a ton. I do not like the heavy contour look. Forgive me. I just hate it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go on to some blush. So this is the blush because I'm going to use a, a really rich red lipstick. I'm going to use this color. This is called Dubonnet, which is more of a brownie, sort of a, a warmer brown, because red is actually a warm tone not a cool tone. So we want to stick within the warm tone family so as we don't clash. Unless it's the 1980s, then you wear pink blush with everything. <laughs> I used to do that in the 80s. Were you big in the 80s? Did you used to wear like blue eyeshadow and, you know, go to the nightclubs or the disco? I did. It was fun. Okay. Good. So that's Dubonnet. All right, moving into lips. So I'm going to do um, a Jane Iredale color here called Gwen. I love this color so much, and I love these little containers because they have magnets in them. Boop, look at that. Keeps it on so it doesn't come off in your um, handbag. I sell this on my website. Please go buy it if you like red lipstick. It is the most stunning red lipstick ever, and they stay on, which is crazy, right? Nothing stays on me, swear to God, and this stays on me. It's so good. I'm going to do the liner last because I don't want a lined look. Okay, it used to be everybody did liner first and then lipstick. I don't, 
if you want more of a natural look, you don't do that, okay? On older women, I'm always trying to not have a lot of lines. Everything needs to be very diffused. I'm gonna use a matching lip liner here. And then overdraw it just a tiny bit, not so that you look crazy. Again, not going for insanity, going for beautiful. So you think how close those two things are, right? See, just really cleaning up that. I'm not going for a darker liner. I think when you're younger, you can, you know, do a darker liner. As you get older, you want to match those. I can talk and do this at the same time. Okay, so that is full succulent red lips. And for those of you who want someone to kiss you, this is definitely the way to go. All right, let's have a sip of tea. Get lipstick on the cup. All right, moving into eyes. So because we're doing classic glam, I'm gonna do a very classic eye look. So for starters, I'm gonna use this palette. It's Naturally Matte by Jane Iredale. I love this palette, so wearable, so usable. I am gonna use matte colors. I'm gonna put a little shiny bit right in the middle, but not in this palette. I'll show you what I'm gonna do here in a bit. So I'm just gonna use this lovely crease brush here. Love this brush, wonderful. And I'm gonna just put little bit of a light pink just on the inside. So the light pink here in the palette, excuse me, didn't show you, right there. And we're just putting it here, just to open up your eye. Even if you have a hooded lid or a large lid, this is really pretty. And I'm putting it right next to my lash line because I'm gonna put that liner on, that classic. I'm gonna do a little bit of a winged liner and some false lashes. So see how that really opened it up? Okay, so now we're gonna use this color here, the pinky brown, right there. Okay, and we're gonna use this just to open up the eye a bit through here. I'm gonna pull it up just a bit so I, I'm really making the eye come come in a greater way this way, okay? So, and I've noticed I put a little right in here. You don't have to do that. If you have really small lids, I wouldn't do that. But I think that looks really pretty. All right, so I've done a little bit of a crease color in there. A little bit on the outer edge and pulled it. So I want to pull the eye a little bit this way. We're not pulling it this way. Um, but we are now going to take the liner. So this is a Jane Iredale. Um, this is a gel liner and it's called um, Dark Topaz. I always forget the names of things. Dark Topaz. So I'm going to take this. It comes with a little applicator here, which is really awesome. Um, I'm actually going to use my own applicator because I'm high maintenance, as we know. <laughs> and I'm going to just take a very, very thin brush here. Although the applicator they provide is, is wonderful. Um, and I'm going to add the product and I'm going to go right next to my lashes with this. So I pull my eye just a little, put it right next to my lashes. Really making that classic liner look. And I'm also gonna take it all the way down there. Very thin, the closer in you get, the thinner that line needs to be. Think of it as laying it right on top of your lashes. Really nice. So you've got, the reason why this pops so much is you've got the really light pink all the way across and the denser you make that, the more it's gonna pop that line. I did not make it super dense, um, but you can if you want to. The, depends on how dramatic you wanna go. Um, but So I did that and then you do the really dark liner and that's what really makes that line come out. Now I'm gonna add a very small wing, okay? Not too much, because I think on older women, sometimes it can just look a little over toasted, you know? So I'm gonna take, you measure from your this angle right here, and you measure up, and that's your line right there. So I'm just gonna measure it like I just did, and I wanna pull that line just a tiny bit. Just gonna add, see how I do that? so that it looks like it's just an extension of the lower lashes and pull it up just a bit, okay? And then I'm gonna connect it. 
with this line here. And if you want to pull your eye like I do, I mean, hey, whatever works. So there we've got a little bit of a wing, very, very pretty. And I'm going to add this now to the other side. Now, if you don't get them quite even, it's okay. I didn't either. <laughs> so what you do in those instances is you go over to this color, this lovely brown, rich brown, because I used a brown eyeliner. But you can use whatever color you want on top and just put it on top. And what this does is it just softens that line down so that it's still really dense, um, but it's less liney. And if you make any mistakes or it's not fully even, very simple to just correct that at an inch. So I think this is quite... Um, quite glamorous it's quite you know a little bit vampy um, my next tutorial I'm going to go really vampy so this is just kind of a step towards that you can make this line thicker or thinner depending on what your preference is um, but this is definitely more of a glamorous eyeliner movie star sort of a look so I'm not going to do anything else to my lids I feel like there's plenty going on I'm not going to do anything underneath either because the classic glam eye makeup look really is just a liner on top so now I'm going to take out of this palette this lovely um, highlighter right here, which is a wonderful clean beauty highlighter. And I'm going to add a little bit more through here. Because why not? We're really bringing out our eyes. And I'm going to add a little bit right in here just to add the glamorous, you know, I'm going to blink at you and you're going to see all my little shiny bits on my lid. Which I love, right? Like how fun is that? That's really wonderful. Now we're going to do a little bit of um, false lashes. So this is my favorite brand of false lashes. This is called Lash and Crown. Um, this is, they are 100% vegan eyelashes. What makes this so special is their real hair and they have 25 uses in them. So you can use them 25 times. They cost $25, which means it's one dollar per use. Now, if you go buy regular lashes, I mean, do buy regular lashes if you're going to use them once in a blue moon. But if you wear lashes on more of a consistent basis, I think this is definitely the way to go. Um, they hold up so well. They look incredible. They feel incredible on your eyes. They're very, very lightweight. So I love these. I love the brand. I think it's a brilliant idea. So I'm going to put some lashes on. I've got my lash glue here. Um, the way I do this is just put a little bit of glue on your hand. And take these are already pre-cut so I pre-measure and trim these down I've worn these quite a bit so they're fitted to my eye okay so you run it through the glue and you get lots of glue on the tip right just on that edge on the strip so that when you put it on it's gonna hold to your eye I like to just set it on my eye So false eyelashes are on and I am ready to party, right? The way that only older women know how to party. We can party better than anybody else, it's my opinion. But anyway, so you can see a little bit of the glue is still not quite dry. The white does go down. The longer it's on there, that glue just dries right in, looks completely clear. Uh, but I love this. I think this looks super glamorous, okay? This is the, the glamorous red lipstick, you know, beautiful long lashes, um, little bit of glitter glamour on the lid um, type of a look. So I hope you've enjoyed this look. Please let me know your thoughts down below, any questions you might have. Um, thank you so much for watching The Beauty Shaman and be glamorous this Valentine's Day.